Hello, everyone. This is Steve with Aptera Owners Club. This is going to be kind of another math-heavy long one, so if you're not in the mood for that, come back another time. Um, a few days ago, I published this video talking about California banning the sale of gas cars in 2035, and basically that was more of a deep dive into whether or not our electrical grid could handle converting to a total EV structure. And then a lot of people in the comments mentioned that refining gasoline takes a lot of electricity. Um, you know, some were saying 12 kilowatt hours, some were saying 4 kilowatt hours per gallon, and some were saying um, 4 to 8 kilowatt hours per gallon. So I had never actually heard of this before, but I mean, that makes sense. Refining um, crude oil is very energy intensive, and it does take some electricity. So I looked into where does this come from? Where did people get this idea from? And I think it comes from this. Uh, back in October of 2011, Business Insider did an interview with Chris Payne, the documentary filmmaker who did Who Killed the Electric Car and Revenge of the Electric Car, and Elon Musk. And in this uh, interview, we get to a very interesting point here. And okay, so here, Business Insider. At least in the US, most electricity is generated using fossil fuels, mostly natural gas and coal. What is the relative car print? A carbon footprint of a Roadster Model S against a gasoline car. I've heard that argument from people who work in the oil industry. Then Chris Payne says, it's funny they make that argument because they're one of the largest users of electricity in the country to refine gasoline. That's why the power cords go into refineries. Something like four to six kilowatt hours of electricity to refine every gallon of gasoline. They're pulling that electricity from the same source they're critiquing on electric cars and they get much less result out of it. Then Elon Musk says, exactly. Chris has a nice way of saving it saying it, which is, you have enough electricity to power all the cars in the country if you just stop refining gasoline. You take an average of 5 kilowatt hours to refine gasoline, something like the Model S can go 20 miles on 5 kilowatt hours. So you basically have the energy needed to power electric vehicles if you stop refining. Uh, so I think this is where it started. And so I thought this was kind of crazy. I mean, is it really that inefficient? Because in an Aptera, five kilowatt hours will take you 50 miles. Um, so that is way more mileage than most cars will get from a gallon of gasoline. So the and the electricity it takes to refine one gallon of gasoline, uh, an Aptera would go 50 miles and a Model S would go 20 miles. So if you just stop refining, yeah, that, that'll give you all the electricity that you need um, to convert all the gas cars to electricity. That's basically free, it's a free conversion. That's not even taking into account the energy it takes to explore, extract, and transport the gasoline, which um, that's not inconsequential either. But um, this sounded a little too good to be true, so I wanted to look for it myself. And so I did a little searching, and there was this Council on Foreign Relations, and it says, this was a blog post by someone named Michael Levy, and it says, do gasoline-based cars really use more electricity than electric vehicles do? And then this was published a few days after that interview with Business Insider. And he was saying, he was quoting that part. And he says, I've seen that claim. And he says, the math behind the claim is simple. Refinery efficiency is about 90%. And the energy content of a gallon of gasoline is about 132,000 BTU. Put that together, you have about 13,000 BTUs of energy cost per gallon of gasoline produced which is equivalent in energy terms to about four kilowatt hours. So I looked that up. Is that correct? I Googled it. What is 13,000 BTUs in kilowatt hours? Yes, it's 3.8 kilowatt hours. So pretty close. So that's that's maybe where they're getting. He This guy's thinking that's where it comes from. And that's probably right. Um, he says this is flawed in two big ways. First is that most of the energy used by refineries doesn't come from electricity, only 15%. That cuts the electrically used figure. So then he says that basically he thinks that the actual um, energy use is about 0.2 kilowatt hours of electricity used for each gallon of gasoline. And then I don't, I didn't know if that was true either. So I decided we should go to the original source. Um, so there, I went first to the original paper that everyone references. This is a March 2008 study from Argonne National Laboratories where they do, um, they look at the efficiency, overall efficiency of petroleum refineries for gasoline. It's about 90%, 88%. And this, I read through this paper. It was a very good paper. 
and they go through all the inputs. So this is the process fuels. Um, they were using data from 2006 in this paper, and they show this is all the stuff that the refineries in the U.S. took in. So they use liquefied petroleum gas, uh, this many thousand barrels, this many thousand barrels of uh, fuel oil, this many thousand barrels of still gas, and then coke and natural gas. And then this is the actual electricity that they use. So actual kilowatt hours of electricity that they use from a power plant. And they also purchase steam. Okay. So if you just look at this number, it's not very much. So just like this guy says, if you just look at the purchase electricity, it's not that much um, to get the amount of uh, gasoline that you're getting. However, uh, this guy at the, um, what was it? Council on Foreign Relations, what he doesn't take into account is that all this fuel that they're using, you could have converted that to electricity, okay? And if you convert that to electricity, you're gonna get this plus what electricity this could have generated if you didn't use it to, um, to basically boil things and crack things um, in the refining process. Because the refining process, basically you distill it and then um, you, you get the different components of the crude oil by its boiling point. And then you basically use um, um, fracking to, I mean, not fracking, cracking to split up the bigger molecules into smaller molecules that are more um, useful, like, you know, airplane fuel and gasoline and things like that. Anyway, that takes a lot of heat energy. You have to boil things a lot. So they're using a lot of this natural gas and, and petroleum coke, still gas and fuel oil to do that, to generate that heat to, um, to boil these components. Um, so these could have been used instead to generate electricity. Now, I think that this um, conversion where it yields four kilowatt hours per um, gallon of gasoline, that is based on the energy content of these things. So this one, the, when they look at the, um, the efficiency, they're looking at the energy content of these things that are burned. And if you had perfect conversion um, of like this natural gas energy to electricity, then I think you would get that four kilowatt hour per gallon figure. However, we know that um, power plants are not 100% efficient. You can't 100% efficiently convert energy from one form to another. There's always a loss. All right, so this is the data. Uh, this, uh, this paper from 2008 basically said about 90% efficiency. That, that was recapitulated in another paper from 2015, which is more recent, but they basically got the same result for gasoline. It's about 90% efficient right here. And so I went and looked up the most recent data. So here's the data from 2021. This is the fuel consumed at all the refineries in the United States. So we're looking at these gas liquids and fuel oil, still gas, petroleum coke, uh, natural gas, um, kilowatt hours of electricity, and purchased steam. Okay, that's so this is the stuff that the refineries are using. And then here's the list of what refineries are producing. In 2021, they produced a total of 3.8 uh, billion. So this is in thousands of barrels. So this says million. So it's thousands of barrels. You got to multiply it by a thousand. So 3.8 billion barrels of product. Of that, gasoline was 526 million barrels of gasoline. So this is our output. So anyway, this is the two raw data that uh, I was going to use for my own calculations. So what I decided to do is make this spreadsheet. So here's a spreadsheet. And then I got, this is the um, fuel input. So this information comes straight from here. All right, so 42 million. Um, so, so this is 42 billion kilowatt hours, right? Because this is in millions of kilowatt hours. So you get that and I put that here. So 42 billion kilowatt hours. So then I convert this to electrical um, equivalents and I'll show you how we did that. So here is the millions of uh, pounds of steam that was purchased. So that's nine, 98,000 millions of pounds. So that's uh, 98,000 millions of pounds. So anyway, I use stuff from this column, okay, all right? So we go here, 
So millions of uh, pounds of steam. And then this is where I got the information on how to convert it. So 10,000 pounds of steam will generate one megawatt hour of electricity. And then also um, natural gas produces zero. So this is actual results from power plants. If you burn natural gas, you're gonna get 0.14 kilowatt hours per cubic foot. If you burn petroleum liquids, you're gonna get 12.86 kilowatt hours per gallon. If you burn petroleum coke, you're gonna get 1.25 kilowatt hours per pound. And then since this petroleum coke is in thousands of barrels, not in pounds, I had to figure out this thing to figure out how many um, gallons you get per pound, how, how many pounds you get per gallon and then after that, how per barrel. Okay, anyways, spent a lot of time figuring out all these different conversions, made this spreadsheet. Um, you can double check this. I can I can link this spreadsheet if people want. Anyways, uh, millions of barrels. So I multiply this by millions to get pounds. So multiply this by millions to get pounds, divided by 10,000 to get megawatt hours, and then multiply it by 1,000 to get kilowatt hours. So then this is how many kilowatt hours this steam is worth, okay? In actual electricity that you can generate from it, not theoretical. So this is this is uh, taking into account the losses in conversion in the power plant. So natural gas, what I did was you, you um, multiply it by a million to get cubic feet, then you multiply it by a 0.4 to get kilowatt hours. So boom, there, and then still gas, um, you multiply by a thousand since this is in thousands of barrels to get barrels. You multiply by 42 to get gallons. Then you multiply by 12.86. This is um, kilowatts per gallon. You get this many kilowatt hours. Same thing with petroleum coke. Um, you multiply it by a thousand to get barrels. This is the conversion. This is how many um, pounds there are per barrel of coke. And then 1.25 is kilowatt hours per pound. And this is how many you get. And then the same with uh, with this, I, I basically use the conversion for petroleum coke. This is a very small portion. This doesn't really change much. Uh, this is a very small fraction of the total energy equivalent. So I don't know if this conversion is perfect, but this uh, shouldn't make a huge difference. It's such a small part of this thing. It's less than 1% of the whole thing. So the whole thing is this is how many kilowatt hours total of electricity you used in actual electricity and then electricity you would have generated if you didn't burn this stuff okay so this is uh 381 billion kilowatt hours or 381 terawatt hours um so then this is the thousands of barrels of product that were generated right so this is this is how many thousands of barrels of product were generated 3.8 million then um basically to get how much electricity you used per gallon of product then you would get you would take your uh, d9 which is this this is your kilowatt hours and then you divide it by barrels times a thousand since this is in thousands of barrels times 42 to get gallons 2.35 kilowatt hours per gallon and then you know you if you want to go by uh, gasoline it gives you the same number, but here's the gasoline barrels, thousands of barrels of gasoline. This is the ratio percentage of this that is gasoline. Then you take this, you get you get 14%. You take 14% of, so since gasoline is 14% of your product, you assign 14% of the electricity cost to that, and then you divide the two, you'll get the same thing. Um, so basically, I think this is the most accurate number uh, for how much electricity is actually used per gallon of gasoline. Um, this is actual electricity that could have been generated by burning it through um, a power plant. Not theoretical, because the theoretical four kilowatt hours per gallon assumes 100% efficiency. Of course, you're not getting that. You're getting, you know, looks like about 60% efficiency. Um, so this is, I think, pretty accurate. And that's the number that I'm going to go with. Um, tell me if there's any fault in my logic, guys. Put it in the comments below. But I think that there is about 2.35 kilowatt hours per gallon of gasoline in the refining process. Again, this does not take into account the energy that's used 
in exploring for petroleum, drilling for petroleum, extracting the petroleum, transporting the petroleum to the refinery. This is just what happens at the refinery. Then after the refinery, you got to transport it to the gas stations. So there's a lot of that. I have no idea how much electricity um, that could have generated, but I'm going to say my guess, knowing kind of not much about the whole extraction process, my guess is the refining process is the most energy intensive por portion of this thing. Let's say that this represents about 60% and everything else represents maybe like one, one and a half more kilowatt hours. Then you're looking at like, three to four kilowatt hours per gallon uh, total uh, electricity usage to get each gallon of gasoline. Then I think, you know, even with this, which is just the refining process, an Aptera is going to go 24 miles with this thing, 23 miles, uh, which is more than, you know, most cars get, a lot of cars get 23 miles per gallon. Um, this, so even just counting the refining, the Aptera is probably break even. If you count in the exploration, the extraction, the transportation, you know, now we're talking probably 40, 50 miles um, from an Aptera out of each gallon that was, it's each gallon of gas, excuse me, electricity that was used to refine each gallon of gas. So without taking the gasoline out of the ground, just the electricity that's used to make the product, you are basically, um, having enough energy to run very efficient EVs. So anyways, thank you guys in the comments. I had never heard this um, before about the amount of electricity it takes to refine the gasoline. And it, it kind of led me down a rabbit hole. And um, I learned a lot from that because I it's something I hadn't thought about until I read you guys' comments. So um, I just, I went and I think that Elon Musk and Chris Payne say, saying, you know, four to six kilowatt hours of electricity for each gallon of gasoline, that is a theoretical maximum that, that assumes perfect conversion. And then this guy just ignores everything, all the other energy inputs other than the direct energy input, which that's not a right way to do it. And I think that the most fair way to do it is to convert all of the inputs into the energy it would have produced if you put it through a power plant and then figure it out and you get this number, which I think is kind of the best number to use. All right. Well, um, I, I'm going to look forward to your comments because maybe I'll learn some more new stuff. And thanks for watching and uh, slogging through this pretty math dense uh, video. Um, and uh, again, thanks to our supporting members. Have a great day, everyone.